Hello all, welcome back. This is the final lesson in this module called Azure Active Directory and we look at Azure AD join like what is device management and what are different domain join capabilities available with Azure AD. So if you look at device management with Azure AD, it helps in providing seamless single sign-on experience and in today's world where people have bring your own device options for work this helps in using variety of devices and a secure way of managing the information on the devices as well so there are two different capabilities which is available with azure active directory for managing the device and first is registration of device so whenever an user tries to register a new device this provides capability to authenticate with his organizational account and he can either enable or disable the device so that's the first step in the process and there is other capability called joining the device or we call it domain join and this will extend the capability of registration and in addition it will run some of the compliance policies on the device as well so it changes the local state of the device based on the organizational policies so this seamlessly help in signing up of the device with organizational account because the organization have the right controls to wipe the data in the device as well. So that's what basically calls or means as device management. And once we have the device with Azure AD join, then we can use all the single sign on capabilities and we don't need to log in again and again on the device. So either it can be Android, or iOS or the Windows device. It provides enterprise compliant roaming features as well. So even if we move across different networks, if the device is domain joined and trusted and compliant, then we can use the internal application seamlessly on the device. So it has a lot of additional capabilities as well, like access to Windows Store for Business or Windows Hello support authentication mechanism etc and from the security perspective organization already has pushed the policy on the device so they will allow the application access from the secure devices or the compliant devices only so it helps from security point of view as well and protection of data in case the device is lost organization can use capabilities like remote wiping etc so if we look at different categories there is a registered device category there is Azure AD join capability and hybrid AD join capability as well. And hybrid AD join supports different Windows OS like Windows 7, 8, and 10, whereas other two supports only Windows 10 devices. And Azure AD and hybrid AD are normally managed by the organization. So with this, an employee can use their work account with any of the devices after AD join. So there are various uh, steps and options involved in configuration of Azure AD join. So the organization can select which of the users uh, where they want to enable this AD join feature and uh, whether those users needs, say for example, local administrative access on that particular device. And selectively they can uh, set up limits like how many devices an user can join and whether they need some capabilities like multi-factor authentication etc 
So that's all with Azure AD Domain Join. Thank you very much.